Makamu wa Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania, Mheshimiwa Dr. Philip Mpango, ametoa wito kwa nchi zinazoendelea za kipato cha chini kuhakikisha zinafanya maboresho ya kina, ya kisera, kisheria na kitaasisi ili kuchochea ukuaji wa uchumi, kukuza sekta binafsi, kuongeza uwekezaji pamoja na kuleta mageuzi ya teknolojia. Makamu wa Rais amesema hayo wakati akihutubia mkutano wa tano wa umoja wa mataifa wa nchi zinazoendelea za kipato cha chini unaofanyika doa nchini Qatar. Ameongeza kwamba ili kufikia na kutimiza maazimisho ya Doha ni muhimu mataifa yanayoendelea ya kipato cha chini kuwekeza zaidi katika rasilimali watu ya vijana na wanawake pamoja kuhakikisha zinaweka mkazo katika elimu bora, ujuzi, huduma za afya na miundombinu ikiwemo nishati, reli, bandari na tehama. Akitoa uzoefu wa Tanzania kama nchi ya uchumi wakati makamu wa rais ameeleza jitihada na mafanikio yaliyofikiwa katika ukuaji wa uchumi na maendeleo ya watu wake ikiwa ni pamoja na kuendelea kuwa nchi inayokuwa kiuchumi kwa kasi kusini mwa jangwa la Sahara umri wa kuishi kuongezeka kutoka miaka stini mwaka 2010 hadi miaka 67.2 mwaka 2022 pamoja na idadi ya watoto chini ya miaka mitano ambao wanautapia mlo kupungua kutoka 42 mwaka 2010 hadi 30 mwaka 2022 I wish to pitch for the following two areas of focus in order to hasten implementation of the Doha plan of action First is deep and sustained commitment to policy institutional and regulatory reforms targeting to grow the economy stimulate private sector development attract investment and green technologies in niche sectors like youth and women led agribusinesses manufacturing mineral beneficiation and tourism human capital development especially education skills development and health and infrastructure notably power railways ports and ICT Second is forging strategic partnerships including regional south south government to government and international collaboration as well as leveraging concessional financing and to a limited extent commercial financing Makamu wa Rais amesema kupitia hatua ilizopiga nchi ya Tanzania katika maendeleo ni wazi muda mwafaka wa taifa hilo kuondolewa katika kundi la nchi za kipato cha chini umekaribia Excellencies this is the track that Tanzania has been following with earnest Consequently despite the setback caused by COVID-19 and geopolitical tensions we in Tanzania have made significant progress since LDC4 Our economy remains solid with a strong recovery trajectory and Tanzania is one of the fastest growing economies in sub-Saharan Africa and among the LDCs group. In addition, progress has also been registered on Human Development Index increasing from 0.41 in 2002 to 0.55 index in 2021. Life expectancy increased from 60 years in 2010 to 67.2 years in 2022. The proportion of children under 5 years who are malnourished declined from 42% in 2010 to 30% in 2022. Under 5 child mortality rate declined from 81 deaths in 2010 to 43 deaths for every 1000 life births in 2022 maternal mortality rate declined from 432 deaths in 2015 to 250 for every 100,000 life births in 2021 and the malaria prevalence in children aged 6 to 56 months declined from 18% in 2007 to 8 to 8% in 2021 and 22 with free basic and secondary education enrollment rate at primary level has increased from 85% in 2015 to 97% in 2021 we have also leveraged digital finance innovations leading to mimi ni husna msuya na hii ni muungano tv 
kila wakati tunapaswa kukumbuka kuwa tuna wajibu wa kulinda afya za watoto wetu dhidi ya magonjwa hatari ikiwemo surua pamoja na madhara yake. Surua ni ugonjwa unaosababishwa na virusi ambavyo huenea haraka pale mgonjwa aliyeambukizwa surua anapokohoa au kupiga chafya. Ugonjwa huu huathiri watu wa rika zote lakini watoto wenye umri chini ya miaka mitano ndio walio kwenye hatari zaidi ya kuambukizwa ugonjwa huu. Dalili kuu za ugonjwa wa surua ni pamoja na homa na vipele. Inaweza kuambatana na kikohozi, mafua, macho kuwa mekundu na vidonda mdomoni. Ugonjwa wa surua usipotibiwa mapema huweza kuleta madhara mbalimbali ikiwemo masikio kutoa usaha ambao huweza kusababisha matatizo ya kutokusikia. Vidonda vya macho vinavyoweza kusababisha ulemavu wa kutokuona, yani upofu, homa ya mapafu au pneumonia na homa ya uchu wa mgongo. Endapo mgonjwa hatapata tiba sahihi kwa wakati, surua inaweza kusababisha mtoto kupoteza maisha. Ewe mzazi au mlezi, njia ya uhakika ya kumwepusha mtoto wako na ugonjwa wa surua ni kwa kumpatia chanjo ya surua afikapo umri wa miezi tisa na chanjo ya marudio afikapo umri wa miezi 18, yani mwaka mmoja na nusu. Hakikisha mtoto wako anakamilisha chanjo zote mbili ili kupata kinga kamili dhidi ya surua. Ujumbe huo umetoka kwenu na Wizara ya Afya kupitia Idara ya Kinga, sehemu ya Elimu ya Afya kwa umma na mpango wa taifa wa chanjo kwa kushirikiana na wadau wa chanjo.